Okay, so this this is on sales training, and, and this is, this I'm 38, okay? So I'm gonna take y'all back to childhood, right? All right, so I'm, I'm late 16, right? I'm working in a Chili's in Georgia, in Atlanta, and she's a really pretty girl. And I, I've been flirting with her and flirting with her, and you gotta watch this whole thing because it'll all make sense towards towards the end, right? So I'm pushing and I'm like, hey, you know, and you know, I still got my V card, you know, I'm still a virgin. So I'm sitting there and I'm like, you know, let me come, let me come, you know. And when you live in Northern Atlanta, Northern Georgia, outside the perimeter, Athens is not too far away, right? So I'm working with some girls from Athens and I'm a kid, you know, and they're about to graduate. And one of the girls, I'm sitting there and I'm like, look, you know, this is your last chance, you know, this is your last chance. You know, you're gonna graduate and then you're gonna be gone. This is your last chance for some young, some young goodness, right? So she's like, okay, right? So I had to push for that, right? So I'm going after it. So I, I, I go home, I get a shower real fast, and then I come back and I'm waiting and then I'm following her up to Athens. All right, I think she's like 22, something like that. And uh, I got a 40 underneath my uh, seat and I keep hitting roadblocks, right? Because it, it's it's Gwinnett and then it's 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 called 316. It's real, it, it's like the cop haven of the entire universe. So I get through both of the, um, the, the roadblocks. I'm wearing a white t-shirt, I got army pants on, I got on like Doc Martens, I got earrings. I'm like the roughest kid, like super, it was horrible. You know, like I can't, I look back, I'm like, I can't believe, but I was, I, 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 so I'm going up there, right? And then I get to this girl's house and I sit down on the couch. She's like, I wanna go take a shower. So she goes and take a shower. Her, I'm sitting here, her room's there. Her roommates are here. They're like, how old are you? I'm sitting there with a 40, right? I'm like, I'm 16. They're like, okay. So she comes out and she's wearing like these booty shorts, right? And like a cut off shirt, um, UGA shirt. So she's like, all right, come on. So I'm like, all right. So I go back and whatever. There's no way that that could have happened without pushing, right? So you have to push. Now here's the thing. I was hanging out with a girl years later and I really, I had a crush on her. She was a little, whatever, real cute little girl. And I said, I want to kiss you. She said, never ask. So I was like, oh man. And this is just trial and tribulation, roughness, getting beat down or winning, you know? So that girl took my virginity, you know, up in UGA. And then this girl wouldn't even kiss me because I asked like an idiot, right? So should should have just pushed, should have just done it, you know, should have just been more cool with it, not just come out with the ask. That's the thing, okay? So I'm sitting there and uh, this is like years later. And this uh, Venezuelan girl, um, she goes, you should read this book. I said, all right. So if you tell me to read a book, I'm just gonna read it, usually, if I respect you. And I respected this girl. She had skills. Um, so I was like, all right. So I go and I, I grab this book, Audible. And I, I go through the book and it's called Go For No. And I get through the book and I was like, yeah, that was a good book. And she's like, what was the point? I didn't get it, right? I, did, I could not regurgitate the point. So she goes, okay, in the book, the guy was um, working at a tailor or like, like a really nice men's place, you know, where, where they, they sell fashionable clothes. And a guy comes in and spends like $18,000 and the guy that's the sales guy is new. So he's getting them all this stuff and he's doing everything that he should, you know, and, he, and then at the end, um, he goes to his boss and he's like, oh my God, I see, that guy spent $18,000, he bought everything. And he's like, well, what did he say no to? And the guy's like, he said no to nothing, you know, he bought everything, you know, he bought the whole, and he's like, no, no, there's still stuff on, on there's still stuff up here. So what did he say no to? And I, you know, I had to read it again 
to get the point. So in my Spotio, which is the app that controls my, my leads and, and everywhere I go for roofing, um, it says go for no. And the reason being is when you walk up to a door or you walk up to a girl or you walk up to um, anything, like any, any aspect of life, here you go, you're trying to get a deal to be able to get a, a, a raise or a promotion to sales manager, right? So you go to your boss and you're like, all right, you're the owner. There is no sales manager. I want to be the sales manager. Um, and then he's like, well, let me think about it. That's not no. Okay. And then he says, well, I'm busy. That's not no. Okay. So you're going for the no. You keep pushing. You keep pushing. So when, when you knock on a door, dun, 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 they come out and they're like, man, the game's on, you know. And you're like, hey, look, I'll come back next week. Right. Or I'll come back. What do you think about Tuesday or Thursday? And, and then they're like, well, man, just let me think about it. That's not no. So you put go for no in your app. Does that make sense? You don't stop. Until, and, and here's the thing. There's agreeable people and then there's disagreeable people. And there's a guy. Um, he, he wrote a book. He wrote a ton of books. He wrote What the Dog Saw. He wrote The Outliers. He wrote uh, all these different books. And then he, he, his, his name is Malcolm Gladwell. And he said the number one characteristic of entrepreneurs or pretty much high-end salespeople, whatever, is disagreeableness. So you have to be disagreeable. So you have to be the type of person that, that goes for a no. You push, right? You, you, you're hanging out with this girl. You've been out with her twice. There's really, you know, and then... You, you, you take her bra, bra strap and then you push you push it off. You just try to see, you know. She doesn't push you off. She doesn't say no. See what I'm saying? This is, this is how you should be looking at any sort of cell in your life. And you should be practicing this, you know. Hey, uh, you got any specials for dessert? Let, let me, you, you got like a free special? Hook me up with a free special, you know. Or, hey, uh, will, will you grab me a coffee? That's weird. It feels weird to say stuff like that. Will you grab me some coffee, you know, to somebody that, that you probably shouldn't even ask. But if you push, then you're practicing. And then if they say no, then you know. But if they're, you know, that's the thing. So you knock on their door and they say, uh, maybe next month. So you put it in go for no. And then you call them. Hey, you told me to call you back next month. It's next month. I wanted to see if I could stop by sometime really soon, maybe Friday or Saturday. You know, Saturday is real good for me because I, I'll be going to the gym and then at like 11 I could stop by. Is that cool? I'll just stop by and just check your roof, you know? And then you show up and then you measure their roof and you do everything. And then the next thing you know, they're going, they're, they, they didn't say no. You're pushing. You're pushing. So my dad, right, all growing up, he said, some will, some won't, so what next? Some will, some won't, so what next, right? And that's the exact same thing. Go for no, go for no, go for no. So in, it, I, I let people on my spotio before, you know, before they started kicking everybody off when you allow, like now you got to have an account for every single one, but before you didn't. So I had all these sales guys, right? Go for no. And then because that was in the app, I had to explain what go for no meant. Go for no means, and then I know all these guys, right, that are agreeable. They are the agreeable type people. And there's no way that they're going to be good at knocking on doors. There's no way that they could, like, I went from Atlanta to Dallas to Denver. And I'm putting all my leads in, all my leads in, all my leads in. When I go back to Atlanta, guess what? I'm going to hit them up because they never said no. And I know which ones didn't say no. So you, you got a new sales guy, right? And he's never been to UGA. He's never taken that drive. You might want to get rid of him. You know, you might want to just be like, this isn't for you. You're agreeable. You're not the type, right? If you take 100 people, 100 human beings, and then you say, who could knock on doors? Maybe like 5 or 7% of those people are disagreeable enough to be able to do that. And then... 
how many people are actually willing and able to push themselves to the limit past you know and then like you have to find a, somebody that that like sits back and they're like okay I really don't have any other avenue to be able to make this much money right that's really how you have to look at it and then you have to teach them how to go for no so um, if a guy you, know, I, you knock on some doors and they're like I'll shoot you boy or something like that you know and you're like all right cool I'm out right that's a no right if they're like hey I got you know I got a new roof six months ago that's a no or if they're like I'm not interested that's a no right so you, you put those in red in your ad but if they say now is not a good time that does not mean no if they say I'm busy right now that does not mean no that means call so here you go here's another really good thing if you got an app you're gonna get their freaking name right you're gonna get their name and you're gonna try to get their phone number you're gonna pin their address and then you're going to get their hey what's your name by the way my name is Joe boom hand them the card they're gonna say my name is Beth Taylor right and you're gonna say you mind if I get your number right you're going for a no they're busy what's your name what's your phone number I'm not really I'm gonna give you my phone number blah 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 or they'll be like it's 888-888-8888 and then you're like okay cool now you got their number right now you, later three weeks from now you say hey I'm the guy you were real busy um I would like to be able to stop by what do you think about Saturday you know something like that just be cool you know but push and push and push and when you get somebody's number that number is worth gold because when you say hey Beth my name is Joe I met you on your front porch um, about three weeks ago and I was wondering if I could stop by Saturday and check your roof right well, like, she's either gonna say no or she's gonna be like yeah that sounds good what time's a good time boom right she was busy then but you pushed you go for no you always go for no and then the man or woman for real that goes for no more than the other people in the sales organization in business in in life you know I I got I got a brother right that not the one that works with me but another one this is kind of bad whatever but he will not work in a business where people will tell him no won't do it you know there's a com it's it's agreeableness compared to disagreeable you know it like I look at it like it's wolf DNA you know and then like like you might be looking for a supplement guy and then you might give me some of your information and you might raise your hand and fill out the form on my website and say hey call me I want to know about your supplement. here's the thing guys I'm not going to stop asking you if I can do your supplements until you say no I'm gonna send you YouTube videos I'm gonna send you information I'm gonna call you I'm gonna text you I'm gonna until you say no I got I got a list a huge list and then there's a couple guys and they'll say man no stop stop okay cool never talk to that person ever again I'm cool with it I would rather somebody be that way and here's another thing if you're the type of person that can't say no that's weak that is weak right so you got some guy and he's coming at you coming at you coming at you you know and you want something he's trying to sell you something a girl right so many girls they won't say I'm not interested they'll say I'm busy ah uh, I'm going on a trip like dudes are, are like slow sometimes you know so they're not able to read between lines sometimes so if you say to a dude hey I'm, I'm not interested I'm really interested in, in Bob you know Bob's got a six-pack he's beautiful he's got luxurious hair swirls so he's just so he he's so dreamy you know if a girl would say that that's no and then you step back and you're like okay cool fine I, I would rather that be this is such important training for people because there's so many people that are weak they're weak they are so weak they will not go for no and the thing is is what if you actually 
went for no. You know, I, w I was reading another book. Um, and it was about selling insurance, you know. <sighs> Pick up the phone and say, would you like blah, blah, blah insurance? No. Would you like, no. Would you like, no. And then they were like, if you make 300 phone calls, you'll get two. Always. So there are certain type of people out there that can actually sit there and make 300 phone calls just because they know the two. And they're, they're, they're so blank in their feelings that they don't care about the other 198. And that's pretty much what you have to be if you're in this sort of business. If you knock on 300 doors, how many sales are you going to get? You know, you're going to get slammed. You're going to get, uh, I'm not interested. You're going to get all this different stuff, you know. But you, if you know the numbers before it even happens, then you're going at it in a different way. And you're going for no. It's the best book. Just read the book. It's crazy. It's a crazy book, right? And then there's another one called uh, The Greatest Salesman in the World. And that's like 10 scrolls and you do it three times a day, every day for 10 months, right? But you change each scroll every month for 10 months. I've done it three times. I'm actually on halfway through the ninth month for the third, third time going through, you know? And the reason why I went through it, no, no, my dad told me to go through it, I think. But then after going through it the first time, I remember seeing, uh, What's that guy that does all right, all right, all right? Super, super elite guy, Wh whatever his name is, you know? Um, the, the high movie, you know, Dazed and Confused. Um, he said that he attributes a lot of his success to that book, you know? Greatest Salesman in the World. And it says, you know, the tides receive, the tides advance. Winter comes, summer goes. People say yes, people say no. You might talk to somebody and they just got broke up with their girlfriend or they're going through a divorce. And then six months later, you talk to somebody, they're on cloud nine, they just got the biggest raise of their entire life and they're completely, totally different people. But they never said no. So you're going to talk to them in six months. Does that make sense? Push. Go for no. And if you're a door knocker, then go for no.